The American Institute in Taiwan chairman James Moriarty arrived in Taiwan today, where he met with legislators as well as with President Tsai Ing-wen. Tsai affirmed that U.S.-Taiwan relations were at an all-time high and promised that Taiwan would stand by the U.S. in dealing with North Korea. In his position as pseudo-ambassador, Moriarty stressed Taiwan's crucial position in the Asia-Pacific region. He also expressed concern over potential social divisions caused by the Transitional Justice Act. On the first day of his arrival in Taiwan, the chairman of the American Institute in Taiwan, James Moriarty, met officially with President Tsai Ing-wen. U.S.-Taiwan relations have never been better. Taiwan will continue to play an integral role in maintaining peace and stability in the region. We will also work alongside the U.S. to stabilize the situation of the Korean Peninsula. As an Indo-Pacific power, the United States has a vital interest in the security of our partners. And I want to stress that we consider the security of Taiwan to be central to the security of the broader region. Before meeting with President Tsai, Moriarty paid a visit to the Legislative Yuan where he met with Taiwan's lawmakers. Drawing parallels with examples from the U.S., Moriarty expressed concern over the implementation of the freshly passed Transitional Justice Act and its potentially divisive impact on Taiwanese society, not to mention Beijing's reaction. The objective of transitional justice is reconciliation, not conflict. The government will continue to uphold this principle and implement the new law in such a way that Taiwanese society draws together and achieves more consensus as we go towards a future of justice and reconciliation. Evidently, the transitional justice movement is not just a domestic matter. As Moriarty says, the state of Taiwan is central to the fortunes of the entire Asia-Pacific region.